Yes, the French, uh, a little bit of a surprise. A lot of uh, new names to the lineup, but they played with a lot of uh, fervour. Yes, yes, they did actually, and they, uh, you know, they, they they showed the flair that they're renowned for. Um, broke the line a number of times and and looked good doing it. Uh, you know, they they played at a, a pretty reasonable pace, I think, the French, and um, and it turned out to be a, you know, I, I think a little bit closer than a lot of people actually um, thought it may, including myself. I think that's good for the series, though, isn't it? It just uh, reminds the All Blacks they're in for a definite challenge for the next two. Yes, definitely, and you know we've uh, we've come to expect that over the over the years from the French. The good thing now is, um, you know, we're not waiting till halfway through a game to to realise that um, they are a very real threat. Cause, you know, it, it, I think it's a standing joke, you know, as, as to which um, which French team is going to turn up on the day, and, and you still really don't know, and you know they don't know. Their coaches admitted not to knowing, so um, you know you really have to go up there and be prepared for for just anything. You know, and I, no, I think um, I think we we did that pretty well on uh, on Saturday, and we reacted to to um, you know what they were throwing at us, and uh, you know um, I, I think it is going to stand, uh, or probably both teams, I think, in good stead. I think the All Blacks can improve, um, you know, a hell of a lot more. The French, uh, I'm not too sure, but um, you know they'll they'll be giving it their all. There's no doubt about that. Yes, a chance for Steve Hansen to blood a few new players. What was your take on, on Sam Kane in particular and his, his combination with the, the experienced players around him? I, I thought he slotted in there pretty well, actually, and um, obviously a, a pretty difficult time for him. Um, you know, first start, well, whether it's his first start or not, I don't, can't even remember now, but, you know, he's, he's, he's only had a limited amount of time on the field, and, uh, you know, but this this was important, and I think he, um, he stood up and... Uh, you know, and uh, and pretty pretty did pretty well for himself. I think um, you know it's an experience that he's gonna that he's gonna take a lot out of. And you know, Terry Dusatois is um, you know is is not uh, the type of guy that you want to come up against in your uh, you know right at the beginning of your career. Um, you know, he's he's one of the best Lucys in the world. And uh, you know, um, I think Sam Kane did did things well. You know, he was um, he was always in support. Um, obviously, he's got, scored a good try, but, you know, his lines were good. He, um, you know, he did everything I think that was expected of him. All right, look, elsewhere, there's a few grumblings down south that uh, Martin Nonu and Aaron Smith played well, if you know what I mean. They were pleased they did, but uh, uh, we're owed something down in the Highlanders. Uh, what do you make of that turnaround in form? Oh, I, I think, you know, and then people scoff at it. A lot of people talk about it and uh and a lot of people scoff at it but um you know when you when you're in that environment you're surrounded by 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 players who are you know whether they're in form or out of form but you're surrounded by by players who they just drag you along you know you you just get swept along and in um you know in the enthusiasm and and everything that that is the all black jersey and the all black uh, squad and, and training and you know and build up um, you can't help but uh, but get out there and and just get stuck into it. And I think um, you know I think it's it's just a case of of those guys you know doing that. And there's everyone around you is is, is demanding that you you do the do your best. Sorry, um, you know just by their actions and uh, and their enthusiasm. So it, it's a case of that you don't lose your class overnight. Um, you know, and and the likes of Ma. And, uh, and Aaron Smith, it's always there. It's, um, it just needs a little coaxing every now and then. And, uh, you know, that, that's what all black rugby does. I liked the backline combination that finished the game with Ben Smith back at fullback, where he's uh, absolutely proven this year, and Rennie Ranger. How can we not start a test now that he's um, scared the living daylights out of the opposition already? Yeah, <laughs> geez. Boy, Ben Smith's going so well, isn't he? He's, um, you know, he's probably been when you when you think back, he's uh, he's not far off the form back of the whole Super Rugby competition. He was outstanding on Saturday night. Um, Rene Ranger's the same sort of player. Uh, is he a um, is he a better impact player? Or is he a is he a starter? Who, who's to say? But um, if they can get the mix right, uh, you know, geez, I'd, I'd have. Well, say I'm happy either way, as long as um, as long as guys like that are in the mix somewhere and, and can contribute. Um, you know whether they start or whether they come off the bench. Um, you know it's got to be good for for us, for uh, for New Zealand rugby looking forward. 
And another irreplaceable guy, Dan Carter, of course, has been replaced for the moment by Aaron Cruden. You're happy with the way that he controls the game? Uh, there's a couple of questions about defence with him and Smith being quite small. But uh, what about uh, going forward? You're happy with that uh, phase of the uh, match? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. Um, you know, I'll take a closer look at him this this weekend. But um, you know, there's a lot on his shoulders. So um, you know, while it wasn't wonderful, that you know, the game the game was was good. But um, you know, that's about where it finishes. I think there's still a hell, hell of a lot of work to do. Um, but um, I, I think Aaron Cruden will grow from you know from that again. And first test, you know, you, you you shake yourself and you get out of your system and and uh, and you know what what's what in terms of the opposition and, and uh, you know, areas you need to work on. So I think they're all going to come out, you know, just a little bit better. Um, so Aaron Smith, you know, you'd expect to see a, a, a sharper and maybe a little bit more dominant sort of game from him and, and an 80-minute performance as well. And uh, with the All Blacks uh, and the Super 15 season sort of overlapping these days, it's only limited time to prepare. So, you know, first game together, there's only so much we can expect. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. And, um, you know, the, the more time they spend in camp and, you know, they're training every day or they're, they're meeting every day and, and going over, you know, what they need, um, where they need to be. So it's it's just going to get better and better and better. So, you know, I'm I'm in no doubt that, um, you know, that, that things are, well, looking looking ahead, things are, um, you know, things are OK. I'm quite happy with the depth. Uh, we had a good example of two locks starting. I mean, Sam White locks a certainty when he's available, but two young guys who've now got a few games under their belt. Um, it's good to have some, some depth at, uh, in the middle row. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Um, you know, we have got depth. We've been building for, uh, you know, for a while now, and these guys are coming to the fore. So, um, you know, when, when you look... When you look overall, I guess, um, you know, you, you, you've got to be happy. You can't make too many complaints. So um, we we just got to wait until these guys, again, you know, settle into it, a little bit more experience, um, and, and we're going to see, just going to see better and better, I think. If there's one question mark of the fact they only picked one specialist winger, is uh, is it perhaps a little, little concern there, although these days the emphasis is on players being able to play any of the back three? Yeah, yeah, and you know you'd have to think that um, that out of the uh, you know out of the, uh, the all the positions, winger is probably one of the um, I won't say the easiest, but it's it's one of the ones that um, that you can move people into. You know, you can move other backs into um, if you have to, and, and um, you know at a pinch you can move anyone there, and uh, and they won't get into too much bother, but. Um, I think you can turn people into, as I say, into wingers and, and get them. It's it's the working, it's the combination, it's the uh, communication, the, um, you know, as to how that back three works. And it, it can be done. I, I wouldn't. Um, I don't think I worry too much about the fact that there's only one specialist. And just finally, Frank, uh, I don't know whether you had a chance to look across the Tasman, but that uh, that Lions team's building nicely. That's going to be a cracker of a series, isn't it? Yes, it is actually. I um, I did see that uh, Reds game. That was a that was a, an excellent game actually. Um, you know, right to the bitter end. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll look forward to watching um, you know that sort of develop. And the Lions team, they are uh, they're, they're they're another team that you know the more time you spend on tour together, the the better you get. So um, well, he's going to be in for a pretty tough time. I see Quade Cooper hasn't quite made the cut again, but. Uh, you know, they're still going to be a, a pretty strong all-round outfit. Would you take a risk on Cooper? Um, yeah, I probably would actually. But um, you know, Robbie Deans isn't very forgiving when it comes to uh, you know those those sort of attacks on um, you know was a bit a little bit personal there, and and in terms of uh, you know the the um, the environment that uh, that they were all operating in. So whether you know, there's a little bit of payback maybe or, or he just believes that there's you know, um there's too much to be lost by having someone like Quade Cooper in the mix. Um off the field I think is is more the uh you know, the worry for him then you know, I it's it's his team to choose. I, I'd take a chance on him, I think.